ecological pyramids. Trophic levels in an ecosystem and the energy flow from one level to the next can be graphically depicted. The base of the pictorial depiction is always a producer and the apex is formed of the final level of consumers. This gives the shape of a pyramid as producers are always more than final level consumers. This graphic representation is therefore called as ecological pyramid. There are different types of ecological pyramids. We will now discuss them. Number pyramid. The number pyramid shows the number of organisms in each trophic level and does not take into consideration the size of the organisms. The emphasis is only on the number, whether the organisms are big or small. In fact, importance may be for small organisms like planktons. In a pyramid of numbers, each consecutive layer or level contains fewer organisms than the level below it. For example, consider the food chain in a grassland. The producers are grass and shrubs. First order consumers can be grasshoppers. Second order consumers can be frogs. And it goes on as snakes and then eagle. Now let us consider the numbers in each level. It is quite obvious that the number of plants is much higher than grasshoppers. The number of frogs is lesser than grasshoppers and the number of snakes will be still lesser and the eagles only a few for the given area. Thus it forms a pyramid on comparison. Pyramid of Biomass This pyramid indicates the total mass of the organisms in each trophic level. The size of the organism is emphasized here. Hence, it can happen that the mass of level 2 is greater than that of level 1. Consider another example. Plants or grass are the producers that are consumed by deer and they are in turn consumed by lion. An enormous mass of grass is required to support a smaller mass of deer, which in turn would support a still smaller mass of lions. We again get a pyramid when these masses are arranged according to trophic levels with producers at the base. Pyramid of Energy the energy pyramid indicates the total amount of energy present in each trophic level. It also shows the loss of energy from one trophic level to the next. An energy pyramid shows that the energy transfer from one trophic level to the next is accompanied by a decrease due to waste and the conversion of potential energy into kinetic energy and heat energy. It is evident that as energy passes from one producer to consumers, a lot of it is lost and the last trophic level receives much less energy. The energy pyramid is more widely used than the others because comparisons can be made between trophic levels of different ecosystems.